Hi again, it's Margie from Fumbles and Fairy Tales, and I'm here with my um, book update, book haul, things that are going on. Um, <clears throat> right now, I just um, posted yesterday a um, giveaway for two ARCs of Mystic City by um, Theo Lawrence. I'm giving away both copies that I received from Random Buzzer, so be sure to check out the review and enter for the giveaway. Um, I was really lucky this the last two weeks I received a lot of awesome books for review. So I'm just going to go through them quickly. The first book I received for review came directly from the author, and this is Austin Sibley Ordinary by Alyssa Goodnight. And if you can't tell by the title of what this book might be about. You're gonna have to go look it up. <laughs> it sounds completely, completely cute. It's um on the back it says steamy, funky, and thoroughly modern Austin, Texas. Isn't much like the garden country estate of Jane Austen's work, but there might be a few similarities in its inhabitants. Kate Kendall is no stranger to daydreams of brooding men and fancy parties. After all, she teaches one of her beloved Jane Austen novels in her English classes every year. But as for romance or adventure in her life, the highlight of most weeks in Scrabble with her cute co-worker Ethan, and he draws a line at Woody Bander. But Kate is ready for a change. And isn't that cover really, really cute and kind of like flirty and stuff? Yeah. Um, it just... It says it comes out that in February down here, but I believe it's coming out towards the end of January. And she also included some, uh, some bookmarks. And oh, that is the first book, Austin Tatious, which was really, really cute. And she's part of the AustinAuthors.net too. So. Thank you so much, Alyssa. I look forward to reading that and look for the review of this probably early January. Then from Source Books, I received two books, and the first book is Miss Bunkle Mary by D. E. Stevenson. And this is actually book two in the Miss Bunkle series. I haven't read book one yet, so I'm really excited to have book two ready that way I can read them back to back. And I hope to do this really, really soon. And then called The Oracle Glass by Judith Merkel Riley. And I don't really know what this one's about. There are witches in here, and I haven't read a really good witch book in a long time. So, and the cover is really, really pretty. So I can't wait to read this and find out what it's all about. And I'm thinking it's more, let's see, it's from Sourcebooks Landmark, so it's definitely an adult book. And then I received the next five books from a new imprint called Merit Press. They're an imprint of S FSB Associates. And they sent over the first two novels are called Twisted Twisted Lit Novels. They're both by Kim Askew and Amy Helms. And the first one is Tempestuous, and which is an, a modern day spin on Shakespeare's The Tempest. And the second book is called Exposure, which is a modern day spin on Shakespeare's Macbeth. The next book I got from them is called The Girl in the Wall by Def Daphne Benedict Grab. This one comes out in December. The next book that I received from them is Louder Than Words by Lori Plissner. And this is about a girl who um, gets into a car accident and something happens. I'm not sh exactly sure what happens in the accident, but she either um, she loses her voice. Um, and in order for her to speak, she has to um, use like a robotic computer and like type things in in order to speak to people. But she still has her thoughts and one day she's like in school or in the library or something and she um, drops her books and she's like cursing in her head about it and um, next thing she knows this boy walks up to her and um, answers her back. So apparently he can read her mind. 
So there's some paranormal things going on in here, and um, I'm looking forward to this one too. And this one comes out in December. And the next book that I received from them is called The Namesake, and this is by Stephen Parlato. And this is about a boy who is um, named after his father who commit, committed suicide. Um, so the boy's name is Evan. He's heading off to college soon. He's um, in the midst of filling out the um, applications and such. And um, in the middle of it all, he's just curious to know, you know, why was he named after this person that would do such a thing to themselves? And um, instead of concentrating on what he needs to do for his own future, he starts to look into why his father would do that and look into the town's past, question the people in the town, and um, discovers deep, dark secrets about um, the family and the town and all its inhabitants. So sounds really mysterious and uh, the cover actually even looks like a little creepy so um, looking forward to seeing what this one's about and seeing how it goes so, that's that then I received um, on from on Twitter I got I was able to get a copy of Sapphire Blue by Kirsten Gear and this is book two in the Ruby Red trilogy which I had <clears throat> had a copy somewhere, so I gotta find my Ruby Red so I can reread it and read Sapphire Blue soon. This is actually um, being released, I think, this week it was released, or next week. It says October. I'm not sure of the exact day, but the cover is so pretty and it matches book one perfectly, which is actually, there's book one in the hardcover format. <clears throat> the, uh, yeah. I look forward to reading this one, hopefully, the next few weeks. And then, um, I won a giveaway from Danny at um, Bewitched Bookworms. And um, I actually won four ebooks, but I, yeah, I don't have a Kindle, so um, she so graciously offered to send. Um, two of the books in paperback form. So I received one already and that's Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. Um, I really like the cover to this one and I've heard such mixed things about this. It's not even funny. Um, <clears throat> I'm guessing it's either a, you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it kind of deal. Um, I've seen two versions of this book. People have been in uproar over this book so um, it's considered new adult because I'm. I, I think the characters are all in college, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing what the hoopla is all about. So um, this should be really interesting. So thank you, Danny, for sending this out to me. I also um, want a book over from Tara from Tater Tater Tall Tales, and that's Death of a Kleptomaniac by Kristen Tracy, and this book came out this month too. And um, it's about a girl who, um, she has it all, but for some odd reason she can't stop stealing things. And then something happens to her and she dies. And I'm um, guessing that in her afterlife she's in denial and probably wants to keep all her stuff. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sure. She's very materialistic, so um, I love the pink cover and I look forward to seeing what happened, why did she die, and um, what's keeping her here. So, thank you Tara for sending this. The last book for today that I received came through Arc Cycling, and it came from Montana of the Book Bells, and that is Lost Girls by Ann Kelly, which came out in July, and I like the cover, it's got like um, and um, I believe it's about a girl who goes on vacation or something with her family and she, they, she brings along a couple of friends and something happens where um, the group of girls are stranded on an island and then um, it's all about them surviving and they have to do what they have to do to survive. And um, the story is told with snippets of um, a journal that she's trying to keep so 
in between um, what she, you know, the storytelling, um, there's snippets of her journal entries trying to survive on the island with these girls. So this sounds really, really, in really interesting. And uh, maybe kind of like Lord of the Flies kind of vibe to it, maybe a little bit with girls, modern time. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So that's it for this week. Um, link up below what you've got. Say hello. Anything. Just let me know that you've stopped by. I'd love to visit. I usually try to take my Saturday nights and uh, comment back and visit everybody's blog. So be sure to leave comments and links below. And um, that's it for me this week. So have a good one. Happy reading.